you so much for being here. When I heard uh, about two weeks ago that a politician had talked about using the Japanese American exclusion as a model for something that we ought to try and do again, I was literally sick to my stomach. And when I heard a national presidential candidate repeat that sentiment, I really felt like we had to do something. I realized that to, the, to those people, the exclusion is an abstraction. You know, it's something you read in a history book. But for those of us who live here, it's real. It happened here. It was neighbors, co-workers, fellow students, friends, who, as you know, were taken away in the space of a week with only what they could carry. We who live on Bainbridge Island must speak up, as it was our island that the exclusion of islanders of Japanese ancestry, two-thirds of them United States citizens, began. Here, from a dock on Eagle Harbor, island families were loaded onto boats for the first leg in their journey to imprisonment. The shameful event is memorialized at the Japanese American Exclusion Memorial at that same spot on Eagle Harbor. We have seared this occasion in our consciousness and have not forgotten this country's misguided decision to discriminate people who merely shared the face of one of our enemy nations during World War II. We're here tonight because it does start to look in this country like some people are starting to forget the heroism of our Japanese American brothers and sisters. And we remember the heroism of our Japanese American friends and neighbors, not just those in the Nisei Veterans Committee who served abroad, but the ones who came home and built families and tended gardens and built dentistry practices and lived lives and built, built this country into what it's supposed to be. And that's heroism too, having the strength to forgive a nation that by any measure treated them very, very shabbily, but still to have in their hearts to forgive and to go on and to live their lives as Americans. And so thank you for taking the time to be here tonight to help the rest of the country with gentleness and respect. Remember that the last time our country gave in to fear, it did not go well. And it's not something that we want to see repeated, which is why we say Nido to Nayoni, let it not happen again. One of my favorite pieces of scripture comes from the Holy Quran, and I'll offer it tonight. Whichever way we look, there is the face of God. Whichever way we look, there is the face of God. And I see the face of God here tonight. May your light shine in the darkness. And may you always remember that the darkness will never overcome the light.